It's another delicious day here in the Let's Make Food From Food Kitchen and today we're making some Greek lamb burgers. And today I'm using the classic hamburger buns that I made recently for my bacon and blue burger. I will put a link down below to that. And the first thing I'm gonna do is just get right into slicing these open and then melting my butter in this pan. I want to grill my buns. So while that butter is melting and I start grilling, I can go ahead and start working on the rest. I don't have much to prepare in terms of chopping because I've already done most of that work, but I do have about three tablespoons loose, not chopped, of mint, and then I'm gonna chop that up. It is fresh mint, okay? So if you have the mint that you get like in the tube from the store, I'd say it's probably a tablespoon that way. trying to get most of it pretty small. As this starts to melt, I'm going to rub the buns in it so it gets coated in the butter. And I'm just toasting them really well because it just makes such a difference in your buns when you toast them like that. There we go. I'm gonna put it right into my ground lamb. I should get my bench knife to do this, it'd be easier. So I'm gonna keep an eye on these. I don't want them to burn. Well toasted is good, burned is not. Give those another minute while that's going. I'm gonna go ahead and move this over here. I'm gonna press three cloves of garlic right on in there. Lamb can have a pretty bold flavor and I like to mix things up with the, the mint. Cause some people like to do a mint sauce with their lamb. I'm just putting the mint right on in there. I'll make a mint jelly sometime. Maybe I'll make another lamb roast, a different one and do a mint jelly for you. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take these off because I don't want them like burned. I just want them well toasted. I'm gonna turn this off for the time being. Now, just get the rest of this going. Fresh cracked pepper. Salt and pepper is always to taste. Gosh, I feel like I say that every video and I probably do. So I'm sorry if you're bored by that statement, but I say it because not everybody watches every video and sometimes it's kind of a one-off and I want to make sure that I encourage people to play with their food flavors. By playing with it, I don't mean throwing it at your sibling. No. That was uh, kosher salt, dried oregano, lots of dried dill, and that is all for the seasonings. I am going to put about a quarter lemon worth of lemon zest in here. It's not a whole lot, but a nice little hint to give it a good flavor. Okay, should be good if I can get that off of there. Okay, I'm just gonna put that right on top of my other one. Just dig right in there, get your hands messy, and get this really mixed up really well. If you're doing this ahead of time, that's a beautiful thing because you can let it sit in the fridge and come together with the flavors for a couple of hours or even just a half an hour if you have time. Today, I'm a little behind. And so I'm gonna just dive right in and get it made. Okay, just make sure that everything's mixed really well in there, all right? Okay, and I want to divide this pretty evenly into four burgers. Okay, we're gonna turn this back on about 375 and I wanna start forming my patties. I'm gonna try and get the edges even but the burger's kind of flat. It won't take super long if they're flat. And how long you cook them really depends on how well done you like your lamb. Unlike the ground beef burgers, I don't mind if there's a little bit of pink in it. If it's a hamburger, I don't want any pink. I don't know what that, I don't know why that is with the beef, because I eat my steaks medium rare. There's just something about the texture. And really with lamb, I think it's, kind of the same, but if there's a little pink, it bothers me less. I don't, sometimes I'm just weird. Okay, once we see this is heated back up, if you have a regular skillet that is not nonstick, you're gonna wanna add about two tablespoons of oil to the pan. I think I'm okay 
just with this the way that it is. That one's going to be smaller, but that's okay. Feels hot still. There we go. Just going to get them right on in there and cooking. So depending on how done you like them, three to seven minutes per side. I think with this we're going to go about four because they're really thin. I'm just pressing them down a little bit more so that because as they cook just like with with a burger hamburger they're gonna shrink up some okay so we'll let that go don't flip them until it's time to flip them okay my timer went off I'm gonna go ahead and turn these over it's got a nice press going Okay, and I'm going to cook those an additional three to four minutes. While that's going, I'm going to go ahead and get together my tzatziki sauce. I'm going to put my tzatziki sauce in my bowl here, and I'll put a link down below for that recipe. My feta is going to go right on in there. You can put it directly on your burger, but I feel like it's less messy this way because it holds together with the sauce. Now my recipe says thin slices of onions. I thought I had a whole red onion. I process the whole thing. So we adapt. I take some diced onion. I'm going to put it right in there. And why do I put it right in there? Same reason I'm doing the cheese so that it will stick a little better to the burger bun. Okay. So I'm just mixing it in and I'm going to put the tomato on the side as a garnish so that if they want to use tomato, they can, and you can add lettuce, whatever you'd like. Burgers are ready to assemble, come off the grill. Okay, and I'm just going to put, look at that. That one's almost the exact shape of the bun. <laughs> Don't you love it when a good thing works out? I'm just draining. The lamb can be pretty fatty. I'm draining off some of that excess. Okay. Okay, all that's left is to top my burgers with our tzatziki. Should've gotten a spoon. But as you can see, it holds together so much better than trying to put the feta on there separately from the tzatziki. And I think it just works out really well. I have a little leftover and that's okay. If somebody wants more, they can have more. All right, so now I'm gonna cut one open. Ready? Ta-da! Beautiful, okay? And now, Mm. That is so good. This is so good and so full of flavor. I would eat this once a week for lunch. Delicious. Thanks for joining me here today in the Let's Make Food from Food Kitchen. From my kitchen to yours, let's make food from food. That's one bowl.